Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to take this moment to uh, recognize a couple players in our scene that are really showing some growth potential. It's kind of fun, you know? We've got uh, number one, Sebastian, who many of you are probably familiar with, made some waves, was in Hidden Cup as one of the competitors, just missed out at going to NAC5. Well, he just won his very first big tournament, and that was the Thalassocracy Cup, which included players like Hera, Viper, Tato, who Sebastian went through. And he ended up winning 4-2 to two over Doubt. And it was really, really fun to see because Sebastian clearly looked like the better player uh, throughout the entire set. He was moving three or four armies uh, at once. He was microing like a beast. He was macroing like a beast. All the economic upgrades were flying in. Great stuff to see from Sebastian. And that win actually propels him to ninth place, I believe, on the adjusted tournament points ranking, which is sometimes used to determine the seed of uh, players heading into tournaments. So shout out to Sebastian. I want to see some big results from him still in S-tier tournaments uh, to prove himself, but uh, we've got one right around the corner in Warlords, and of course, he beat ACCM to make his way in there, and uh, uh, we're looking at Red Bull as well. For Sebastian, he looks like a really, really um, promising up-and-comer. The other person I wanted to highlight, of course, is Guki, 15-year-old um, female player from uh, Mexico. And, you know, she had a really surprising result against Lewis in the Warlords 2 qualifier. I think many people expected Lewis to win. It was my first time watching Guki and... Uh, her style is is quite entertaining. She's got a more defensive style, but it's it's a real kind of build up into the army composition she wants to play later. And it's a really strategic type of style with good economy upgrades, lots of efficiency there. Love to see what she can do. Obviously, you know, going up against Winchester in the next round after Lewis wasn't great for her. <laughs> and um, she didn't manage to win that set, but still looks solid there. So wish her the best. Uh, and I hope to see more from her going forward. She was, I believe, a 1,200 player or 1,100 player, or maybe just started the game two years ago. So it's incredibly impressive that she's up at 2K2, 2K3, wherever she is right now. The third player I wanted to highlight, Sorakuma, who is you know, a well-known name. He's always kind of been around the edges of the top scene. He ranks against people all the time. He's at like 2K5, 2K4. So you might see him on Hera's stream or MBL's stream matching up against them, but managed to take out Hera and Thalassocracy Cup. Once again, a tournament full of upsets. And then uh, got a big win against Ozone and has had some really good results recently. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to his match against Leary. If Leary doesn't show up with his A game, uh, in the next matchup against Sorakuma and the Warlords 2 qualifier. I feel like there could be some concerning moments because Sorakuma looked pretty solid. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to give an update. I love these short form videos for things that I'm interested in, like hockey or baseball or whatever. There's a bunch of creators that I enjoy to watch. as just kind of a summary. And I felt like I might as well try it out for Age of Empires 2 because it's off the cuff and it doesn't take much effort. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're following these three players and uh, have yourselves a good day. Peace.